John Beltran, Dave Urich, back from Legion Field in Fort Morgan, where the Fort Morgan Mustangs and Brush Bead Diggers are about to take the field here for the opening kickoff and to open up this 2009 Colorado High School football season as the Mustangs are looking to make the postseason for the third consecutive year. And after two tough years for Randy Dreitz early on in the decade, seven consecutive playoff seasons for Brush, Dave, and they've won playoff games in every one of those years for once. Yeah, they've, they've been in the hunt when they when they got there, that's for sure. And, and uh, it's been exciting. It's been a great ride, and the, and the Brush fans and the football program have nothing to – to hang their heads about because they're you know it's one of those things where people say you know they have a really good football team but this is a great program that the year in year out in the in the in the hunt and, and that I think that's one of the number one um, things you judge a program by opening kickoff brought to you by Ingmeyer Phillips Insurance locally in Fort Morgan and Brush offering home health auto farm business and workers compensation insurance Jacob Fector will kick it off Isaac Rodriguez is one of the deep men. And Fector boots a low line drive headed towards the sideline, and it's going to be taken at the 14-yard line, and a double handoff running right across the 25 to the 30 of Rodriguez, down the sideline to the 50, down to the 40, and the clear at the 30. Cooper from behind is going to drag him down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. C.J. Cooper with a touchdown saving tackle, but that was a double handoff as Adam Hoffman handed off to Ian Moreno, then to Isaac Rodriguez, and he goes... 71 yards in the opening kickoff, Dave, and that trickery certainly paid off for the Fort Morgan Mustangs. They sure did. You know, Brush lined up with a little trickery of their own. They had two uh, packs of people, each on, on each side of the football, where they headed downfield, and, and then they spread out when they got there. And, and I watched the Brush contain man on this side. He, he was he was watching the first handoff, and he didn't pay attention to the second one, and, and uh, he ran right by the ball carrier. First and goal at the nine-yard line. Amazing, Dave. Special teams again playing a big role already. This is three years in a row. And let's see if the Mustangs can capitalize. The quarterback is Garrett Pape. Looks like a Maryland eye with Matt Goto, the first man. Devin DeRoach right behind him. And Randy Colwaite and getting the handoff running right inside the 10 to the 5. Diving towards the 2 is going to be DeRoach before he's tackled over there by Kyle Muir, the 5'11", 160-pound junior defensive end. But it's a gain of close to seven inside the two-yard line, second down and goal. You know, there was just a, there was a little misdirection in the backfield. Like you said, it was a Maryland eye, and, and they didn't try to slam it down the, the right um, off-tackle hole over there at all. They, they went ahead and went with some takes, and it was kind of slow developing, and it sure worked out for a nice game. Second and goal at the two, the handoff right up the gut towards the goal line. That's going to be a touchdown right up the middle. That is Matt Soto from two yards away. And a minute five into the game, the Mustangs lead the beat bigger 6 nothing. Yep, no trickery at all. You know, the, what did you say about the Mustangs there? They got off quick. You can tell them as soon as that ball was snapped, they were going forward, and they shoved the whole brush pile a good three yards into the end zone. It was, a, it was an easy touchdown for Goto. Now the extra point to be attempted by Garrett Pape off the hold of Devin DeRoach. And they're lining up in that swinging gate off to the left. Let's see if Fort Morgan realigns, and they will. And a flag goes up. And now the flag is put back in the official's pocket. I'm not sure why. And Pape will actually be holding. And DeRoche to attempt the extra point. It's down. The kick is up. And it looks like it's a little bit off to the left. Is it inside the upright? No, it is off to the left. There is a flag down, though, at the 14-yard line. Let's see what that's about, unless it was roughing the kicker, because the beat diggers nearly blocked that extra point. Yeah, the end on this side, um, I think it was Rosenbrock. He flew in there, and he was up in the air, and he almost had the block. But uh, the Fort Morgan kicker was able to keep his leg up in the air a little bit longer, and that's what... That's what caused the Fort Morgan defenders to run into him. And it is roughing the kicker. And Dave, what was the score last year's game? Eight to nothing because Fort Morgan went for two. I don't know if it was off a similar situation, just off of memory. But now Fort Morgan might actually go for two and make this an eight nothing game. Well, they sure did send in a bunch of new players and rotated some guys out. So you can bet they're they're not looking at that swinging gate here. And the ball should be sitting. It's at the two-and-a-half-yard line, but it should be closer to that because of the penalty. And now it's at the one-yard line, so Fort Morgan will go for two. Once again, the Maryland die. It'll be Godot, DeRoche, and Colwaite. Already six to nothing. Pape 
to hand it off on the counter, running wide to the right is DeRose. He gets into the end zone, slamming off a piece of her at the one-yard line. And for some reason, the clock continues to run. As we speak, the clock is running with 9.40 to go. The touchdown was scored with 10.55 to go. they got to get that clock in order. 9.42 to go. We'll keep it right here. And Fort Morgan leads 8 to nothing. But that is sloppy clockwork. I mean, they've taken a minute 13 off the clock. Well, the play, Tanner Lyle, he came from his linebacker position. He, he came up there and he made a good hit, but he just wasn't able to wrap up around his legs and, and pull him down. Initially, I thought he was going to make that contact and be able to drive him backwards, maybe get a little help and, and stop it, but it just didn't happen for him. Let's see what the B-Diggers do on offense. They've got to correct that clock. That is horrendous work up there. I'm sorry. I mean, they've taken a minute 13. The touchdown was scored with 10.55 to go, and now it says 9.42, and there's absolutely no adjustment. I mean, that cannot happen. I'm but sorry, that cannot happen. I mean, that is ridiculous. That is unacceptable. And now to kick it off for the Mustangs. Will be Zach Green. Oh, that is just awful. And looks like Joe Rosenbrock is back to receive for the Bee Diggers. He's standing at the 10 yard line. The Bee Diggers are in their white uniforms with the maroon numerals, the white pants and the maroon socks, the Mustangs in all black. We'll introduce the assistant coaches here momentarily since it was such a quick start to the game. And there's the kickoff by Colway, low line drive. It's fielded by one of the up men at the 14 yard line, running right to the 25 across the 30, and slamming into the 31 is Shay Hansen, a return of 17 before the tackle was made over there by Phil Villarreal. So the Beat Diggers start the drive with nine and a half to go in the opening quarter, trailing by a score of eight nothing. Eric Garcia is the quarterback. And, Dave, as you mentioned in the pregame, plenty of backs in there with Scott or Seawall, Tanner Morrow will see action. Of course, Joe Rosenbrock across the offensive line for the Bee Diggers. Central Levi Brenneman along with Austin Acosta, Darren Wiltz, Luke Nichols, and Dylan French. Derek Lynch is the tight end. Starting lineup brought to you by Walmart. Open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. 1300 North Barlow Road in Fort Morgan. First and 10, the Bee Diggers at their own 31-yard line. Garcia, the quarterback. We'll send a man in motion to the left. And there's the handoff running left to Seawold across the 35. Back towards the middle. Touchdown. He slams into a Mustang at the 40-yard line. He gets to around the 41. It's a gain of 10 before the Fort Morgan tackle was made by Corey Dermer. And that's Brush Bee Digger football in their first offensive play. You know, and I think Brush just made a statement of what their plans are this year and not to get the ball to their horse. And, and uh, Seawold, he didn't do anything um, real special or anything there. They just ran off tackle over here on the left side where all the linemen, they all block down on a linebacker and on a on one of the defensive linemen, and then their halfback comes out and kicks out the defensive end, and Seawall uh, read the nice block made there by the brush halfback and, and uh, picked up uh, 10 easy yards before he punished that DB at Fort Morgan. Mustangs have some physicality as well, especially those linebackers and Nick Flukoff and Adam Hoffman, Brandon Hoffman as well, and Randy Colwait. Jake Schneider, one of the defensive backs. Andrew Rebel, the defensive end. He'll cause havoc on the line along with Diego Carrillo and Ryan Hoffman. Ian Moreno in that defensive backfield as well. And Isaac Rodriguez, a big linebacker on that team. First and 10 for the Bee Diggers. Just shy of the 42 with a naked backfield. Two to the left and to the right. Man in motion to the right is Tanner Morrow. And there's the hand off the ball running right across the 45. And he spun down across the 45 to the 48. But it's a gain of six before the tackle was made by Randy Colway to the Bee Diggers doing a nice job on their second running play. You know, it's been a while since we've uh, seen them run that jet sort of offense where they, where they send the guy in motion, and, and then right when he gets behind the quarterback, he's able to, to get the handoff and run around the end. And uh, they, they really ran that well, and, and it's showing how, uh, how Brush is looking forward to running that with all that speed they have in the backfield. Bee Diggers in a Maryland eye. Second down and four at their own 48-yard line. Trailing 8 to nothing, 8.25 to go in the opening quarter. We have a timeout. We'll take it with them. It's Fort Morgan 8, brush nothing on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. 